For this problem, the weekly revenue in dollars from the sale of X copy makers is given by the Rx equals 40X. The total cost function is given by Cx equals 370 plus 16X plus 0.2X squared. Use differentials to approximate the change in profit, return profit. If the weekly sales are increased from 25 to 28 copy makers. So the key term is to use differential to approximate the chain in profit. The chain in profit, the chain, the delta profit, the capital P. So we're gonna use the differential P to approximate delta P. And the differential P is the P prime multiplied by dx. So we're gonna set up as dp equals the p prime times dx. So let's see what do we have here. We have the revenue function as 40x, the cost function as 370 plus 16x plus 0.2x squared, and x1 equals 25, x2 equals 28. Form the profit function by subtracting the revenue by the cost function. The revenue is 40x subtracted by the quantity 370 plus 16x plus 0.2x squared. We get the profit function as a simplified form as, so make sure that you distribute the negative side to all of them. I'm gonna write one more step just in case we don't want to miss any side. Then the negative, the 40x and negative 16x are like terms. So we get 24x for the simplified form, these two terms minus 370 minus 0 0.2x to the second as the profit function. So I'm gonna note here, this is a profit. And then we're gonna find the P prime and also the delta x. For the two x value here, we know that the delta x is a change in the x value or x2 minus x1. This case is 20 minus 25, so the delta x is 3. Next, for the t plan, for the derivative of the profit is 24 minus 0 0.4 times x. Now we're going to use these two pieces to find the differential of the p. I'm going to put the note here. This is the differential p, or the differential of the profit that we use to approximate the change in profit. So the dp is the p prime or the p prime of the x multiplied by dx. The p prime we found it as 24 minus 0 0.4x. The dx is the chain in x, which is three for this. And we're gonna evaluate at the beginning point of the x, which is x1 or the number 25. Now we're gonna replace the number 25 into the x, 24 minus 0 0.4 times 25. And then multiply by three. 24, 25 times four, that's 10. So this part is 10. We get 24 minus 10 or 14. And then multiply by three. So then we get the number 52. As a result for the differential P that is used to approximate the chain in P.